In 2022, we bought an abandoned house that was on the brink of destruction. We bought that? Yeah. Why? Although many saw a house they thought couldn't be brought back to life, we saw the potential. After a complete renovation, we have finally reached the end of construction and the beginning of moving in. We have a super fun day ahead of us today. We're renting a U-Haul and we are headed into Northern Virginia to go pick up literally an entire truckload of furniture for the renovation house. Ideally, we would be using our truck and trailer to do this. However, our truck's transmission went out on it. We ordered a used one from Florida because we obviously don't wanna buy a brand new truck. Our truck's paid off, so we wanna keep it that way. And we're gonna need to get that replaced and taken care of but we can't stop the train from moving. We've got to get all the furniture moved into the chapter house so that we can get it live and ready for guests. So today's the day, we're moving in. of this place on the next one, then Lost City, here we come. There's a few things we gotta do here. The first thing we gotta do is water the grass, which we always do when we get here. We need that grass bright when people start coming here. We don't want dingy, brown, dead looking grass. So the first thing we gotta do is water that grass. Second thing is, Every time we buy something, we throw it on the floor behind me and we have a pile of crap. We need to pretty much clean up, get everything up in the air so we can start cleaning this entire house because this house is a disastrous mess. Uh, we didn't really go through a deep clean once we got finished with the construction, but uh, now it's time. So Aaron, are you ready? Let's go. For right now, we're gonna be putting absolutely everything into the owner's closet. Not only all of the cleaning supplies and laundry detergents and trash bags and paper towels, but also a lot of the stuff that we're going to be using to actually decorate the house. Smaller things like bedding and whatnot that we already have here because we wanna get absolutely everything off of the floor so that we can do a real major deep clean. Eventually, this owner's closet is going to be where we store, of course, still all of the cleaning supplies, but extra towels, extra sheets, extra blankets, all of that kind of thing. So when the person is here that's cleaning the house and turning the house over before the next guest arrives, they have everything that they need locked away in this closet that they can pull out and do what they need to do to get the house ready for the next set of guests. Even stuff like these little ottomans, which are actually gonna go up there in the loft space, we're gonna be putting them in weird spots just to get them off the floor. We're gonna get these rugs out of here, literally everything so that this place can get clean top to bottom. As soon as the chapter house has its big deep clean, we will be fully focused on getting all of the furniture and decor in place. In the meantime, we have major renovations to tackle and oversee in Romney, West Virginia at our cafe. The goal is to be open midsummer. So we are back at the cafe today. Nick and his crew came through here and they framed up everything on the interior. It looks amazing. It's actually starting to look like it's turning into something. So it's really encouraging and exciting for us to see. We are here today to start doing the rough in on electrical. Plumbing starts tomorrow. The HVAC is going to be finished up on Tuesday. And then a week and a half from now, drywall starts, yep. which is pretty crazy. Oh, and we're coming back to do insulation. So yes, lots of things are happening. Yes, once it gets street rocked, we'll be rocking and rolling because there's not much left after that. No. A little bit of paint, some uh, plumbing, not, not much. This place is almost done. Finally, we picked a project that moves really quick. <laughs> How'd that happen? We're gonna start by getting the laser set up and getting the elevation established. So we can start going through and laying out for all the receptacles around the building. So once that's done, we'll put the MC up, we'll hammer drill to the wall, pull the MC down into the junction boxes, and we'll start roughing everything in. I put a receptacle here, one here, one right there, and another one right there. We want to bang receptacles right here with dedicated circuits. I'm not sure what a band needs. You know? So some of the things that we're keeping in mind as we go through here is that we want to have electrical outlets for people to charge their laptops or their devices as they're enjoying a cup of coffee or a bite to eat and hanging out. And we're expecting that along this wall right here, we're gonna have a lot of seating. This entire area back here is gonna be mostly seating and not merchandise or obviously not kitchen space. So we wanna be sure that customers have what they need to sit down and relax, enjoy, and that it's just comfortable and convenient, but also that we have enough plugs and everything that a musician or a band would need to do some live music, because we're thinking that live music's probably gonna go on here occasionally and be 
somewhere back there in that corner, this back door is gonna be the perfect spot for people to bring all of their gear and everything in through here and get all set up. So we're trying to just go through all the possibilities of everything that we would want in a cafe and that this cafe is going to have so that we can make sure that we get it right the first time. Not that Josh doesn't love to do like, you know, rework or change orders. That's what it is, change orders. He loves those. I know. It's totally normal to do a change order when you're an electrician, right Josh? Yes, it's definitely normal, but the problem is, I don't get, we don't get paid for these changes. It costs us money. So yeah, we try to uh, minimize that. But it's so fun to watch you work. You're such a good looking electrician. Do you know that? So much you work too. I enjoy it. <laughs> I'm the apprentice today. Or the boss. Yeah, the boss. <laughs> I tried. Judging by that mohawk that you had back in the day, I would have assumed you were in a band and you'd know what kind of stuff was needed. Not me. It got me shaking up and moving around. Before going any further with electrical, we got our first change order. Um, <laughs> you know, she's by yeah. most of the time, not all the time. I'll give her a little leeway on that. I'll give her, yeah, you're a little bit right. It's okay. It's not a big deal, but we have a place for our hot water heater. Um, I guess we're up in the air where it's going to go. We're actually going to move everything over a little bit. We're going to put a water heater in here. All we got to do is uh, put a bottom plate over there, frame it up, just remove a few things. Voila, we're done. I really wouldn't call it a change order, you know, but uh, I'll take care of it. It's a small adjustment. It's an adjustment on my end. <laughs> Don't tell her she's right, she's not. Okay, ah, 32 inches. Wall is built, back to electric work. Now that all the junction boxes are up, we're gonna go through and start pulling MC from box to box. Once it's all pulled, we'll tie everything into the box. Then we're ready for insulation. As a matter of fact, we're not ready for insulation. We gotta core drill two holes real quick for the 400 amp panel on the back wall. Once that's done, we're ready for insulation. Those two holes right there and there is where the two panels are gonna go to feed this cafe. And boy, was that tough. The first hole went pretty easy and I think that bit is uh, a little bit done because he didn't wanna go to the second hole. But he did, it's a lot of pushing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I didn't even, I, 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 I said, I said nothing, I said nothing. Okay. Fit. It does. All right, let's cut. Yeah, the plan is to use this adhesive right here. This is adhesive spray foam. We're gonna spray foam the back of the foam panels and put them against the wall and hopefully they stick well. We have 29 sheets. They're four by eight. We gotta cut them into 12 inch pieces. We'll slam them up, glue them up, and we're gonna probably have little gaps on the sides. So what we're gonna do is go back with some spray foam, close up the gaps, and we're ready for drywall.
So this is going to be full sheets the entire way down. So we might as well just start this side and get that stuff going first. Okay. I've come to the conclusion that uh, this thing was sh**. <laughs> Liquid nails sticks better than that does. I don't know if you got to hold it for 10 minutes until it sticks. Look at nails, you just push in there, it'll, it'll kind of mold and hold it in place. You can still move it around stuff, but this thing just comes up and just falls off. But this is supposed to be great stuff, Josh. There goes that sponsorship. <laughs> Subfloor drywall foam panels, which I'm using. Doesn't stick to foam panels very well. Let me see, maybe not, look at the directions. Not sponsored, I'm not impressed. That's what it is. I'm gonna buy some caulk next time. Liquid nails, you know? Not sponsored by them either. But I'm impressed. <laughs> Are we almost done? I mm. crashed. I know, it's not that much, but we got that done. We'll probably be here till oh, 10 o'clock, probably. We gotta get going, girl. Let's go. We hustle when we get out here by nine. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Josh is being a little bit dramatic. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. I know. I'm aware. So. There's not that much to do. There's not. Because it's only the exterior walls. Yeah. So we have like this section right here. And that section and right that there. Section right there. And then we're done? Oh, this entire wall and that wall right there. Oh my gosh. It's not that bad. I know. It's not that bad. Like some of those gaps, the small spots, I'm gonna go through the gun spray foam does. I have the cancer spray foam, so. Okay. I'll, you know what I mean? Yeah. Good time it off. This is a point where you like just go on autopilot and you do it and you don't think about it. That's where we're at. Right. That's, where, that's where I'm at. <laughs> I've been up since 4.30 in the morning. I'm done. You know, coming out here on a rainy day during spring, best time of the year, girl. Yeah. Nice. 